हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माई इंजीनियरिंग अप दिस इज एटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट स्टार्टिंग प्रोसीजर ऑफ अ बॉयलर इन टुडे वीडियो वील लर्न दैट हाउ द बॉयलर इज स्टार्टेड फ्रेंड इफ यू आर वॉचिंग द वीडियो ऑफ मेरे इंजीनियर फर्स्ट टाइम आई वॉन्ट रिक्वेस्ट यू दैट प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब वी मेक दिस टाइप ऑफ वीडियो विच विल बेनिफिशियल फॉर एग्जामिनेशन ओरल एंड इंटरव्यू फ्रेंड दो आर गिविंग एम यू क्लास वन क्लास टू क्लास फॉर एग्जाम आई रिक्वेस्ट यू दैट प्लीज Take the membership. You will get a lot of video which will benefit for your examination. So let's start today's video of boiler starting procedure. When you are going on ship as a third engineer or fourth engineer, so you should know that how to start a boiler, boiler one by one in a sequenced manner. And if you are going as a fifth engineer or cadet, so you should know that what sequence of operation is happening because. This sequence of operation, if you know, it comes handy in a case of an emergency or automation failure. If the automation failure happen, and if you know what action to be taken after this, 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 and if there is any problem in between, then you can easy to troubleshoot. So let's start how to start a boiler. So this is our water tube boiler. This is our heavy fuel oil settling tank. This is the heavy fuel oil service tank. This is the do service tank this is the boiler igniter pump which is help to provide diesel oil to the pilot burner during the ignition this is the boiler do supply pump and this is the heavy fuel oil supply pump this is the boiler heat arrangement and this is a change over arrangement that from here the heavy oil is coming from here the do is coming in this boiler which is shown here it consisting of one pilot burner and two main burner but normally in ship you will find one main burner and one pilot burner so i will explain with only one burner burning at a time for easy understanding so friend if you want to start the boiler the first thing you should do is to open the valve which is coming from do service tank to the auxiliary boiler igniter pump so we have to open this valve do 54 and do 17 to ensure that the diesel oil is made available to the do igniter pump now here i have taken a scenario that i am applying in a emission control area and i will be showing you the procedure of boiler firing in do so here the do service tank from here the oil is coming and made available to the boiler igniter from here it is going to the pilot burner and this valve is open so we have open do 54 and do 35 this can be numbering of the valve can be different but the basic idea is that you have to open the line up for the igniter pump before starting the boiler after that second thing we will do is that as we are finding the boiler in do you have to make sure that the suction and discharge valve of a do pump are open so we will open the suction and discharge valve of the do so if you see here this was first close now we have open it after opening that we will open this do 10 so now what is happening the oil is coming from here it is coming like this one oil is going to the do igniter pump and one oil is going like this and coming like this and is made available to the do supply pump and after that we are opening this do 10 so till now we have opened this valve this valve and this valve to make all the line in the do igniter pump is open after that we have open suction discharge and this valve to make sure that all the line in the do is open this is the changeover arrangement if you open this side the do will come from here if you open this valve the heavy oil will come from here now we will put the changeover valve to diesel oil so that the temperature controller get deactivated because diesel oil don't need the heating it is well heated at a room temperature of around 32 to 45 degrees celsius as per the engine room now then we open this valve f111 basically from here the oil is coming now to go to the main burner we need to open this valve so if you see carefully this one you can see this is closed now 
we are opening it so now the heavy or do line is basically fully open now you can see the fuel line for the main burner is fully open so all the line to the main burner and do igniter is now fully open now we'll check the feed system we'll make sure that the boiler feed system is properly lined up if you want to know about the feed system please do comment below i will make a separate video about the line diagram what we need to check is that all the arrangement for the boiler water coming for filling is open the pump is running condition and the pressure is there and the boiler circuiting pump is started if we are starting the main engine now this is the boiler control panel this is consisting of stream drum water drum this is the down cumber this is the risers and this is the superheater this is only for descriptive purpose normally there, there will be more than one down cumber and there will be more riser this is a superheater basically it is used for driving the copt and turbine generator as i have told you these two burner burner 2 and burner 1 and the oil heavy or do is coming from this line and for burning this is a pilot burner arrangement as it consisting of two burner therefore two fan primary fan and secondary fan is provided now how the boiler fire so what will happen the first pilot burner will fire and after that when some delay the no burner 1 or burner 2 will fire which will be assisted by the pilot burner once the burner flame is self sustainable the pilot burner will go off so this is how the procedure we will see in the later slide one by one this is the boiler panel number 1 or manual boiler 2 this is the boiler emergency stop if anything happen we can press this stop the whole stop will stop in emergency when the boiler fire this light will get lit up this is the post pre purging ignition post purging this is a primary fan switch this is secondary fan switch this is the alarm panel if any alarm is there it will show right now steam pressure down low alarm is there a smoke density meter if the smoke is coming out very black in that case it will come in this area and the this is the air fuel ratio so let's start the boiler firing so now till now what we have done till now we have line up the igniter pump and we have liner line up the boiler do pump and we have make sure that all the valve all the valve in the line all the valve in the line are open in the same way we have make sure that all the valve in the do line are open okay now we are gonna after that we are making sure that the boiler feed pump is running and developing pressure the valve the water is coming in the auto mode to the steam drum and if we are running the engine going to run the engine we have to start the boiler circulation pump now we will start the boiler one by one so first we have opened the smoke density meter and we have put the number one burner in auto so we are now firing number one burner only because in most of us if we have only one burner and one pilot burner so i will show you only one burner arrangement so we have start the smoke density meter and we have started the number one burner and we have put in auto and after that the primary fan and the secondary fan will start as the primary fan will start second fan will start it will start to have a pre purging so what is do you mean by pre purging if we carefully see this draft fan this valve arrangement you can see the it is fully open it is almost 60% open so what is happening right now this is now this now you see so you can see the difference of these two if you see carefully now okay so slowly slowly it is increasing so what is happening so basically what is happening more amount of air is been sent inside the boiler which will forcefully remove any gases uncombustible gases which is present 
inside the boiler from the last combustion. This we are doing to ensure that when we are going to start the combustion, the amount of air which is present inside is clean and in optimum amount. And we can remove all the other uncombustible gases and carbon which is present from the last combustion. So pre purging will take place mainly for a period of 1 to 3 minutes depending on the type of boiler. And we have, if you see the smoke density will go like this and will come down again after some time. Now pre purging is happening and then the purging flap will now come back to optimum condition for ignition. So what will happen? First the bundle flap will go to maximum and after some time it will slowly 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 come back to like this. So if you monitor only this fan position so you will see see it increasing now it decreasing. So first it has doing the purging it is now in maximum position after that it is slowly slowly coming back and when it is in optimum condition you will see the pile burner have fire. So what has happened? So when it come to optimum position at that time the igniter will pump will send the DO and the ignition electrode will generate the spark and the pilot burner will fire and as the pilot burner will fire the ignition light will be get lit up it means when the ignition light is getting lit up it means that the DO auxiliary boiler DO igniter pump is running and it is firing the boiler after some time the main burner will fire so as I have told you when the main burner will fire and it will be assisted initially by the help of a pilot burner when the ignition electrode is seeing that the pilot burner flame is now self sustainable it will go off and then the main burner will fire and when the main burner will fire initially it will be assisted by the pilot burner and the boiler fire while light will get lit up and after a delay the pilot burner will go off and the DO supply will be stopped on the pilot burner now you see so you will see here the burner pad burner is getting off and the main burner will now firing and this will continue for a period till the pressure is slowly slowly getting developed as per the limit which we want now when the pressure is developing and a boiler is reaching to a proper cutoff now the boiler is in auto so the pressure will slowly slowly decrease increase if you see here carefully now it is 0.7 now after purging the steam drum we will close this and the pressure will increase and when it is increased and it is as in auto what will happen the cutting and cutoff set value will be there that it will cut in when the pressure drop in 14 bar and cut off when the pressure will drop it pressure increase up to 16 bar it means that a boiler will cut in and cut off in this limit this limit is not fixed for every boiler it depends and differ if a boiler is low pressure boiler operating in the range of 9 bar 6 to 9 bar so maybe the cutting is 6.5 and cutoff is 7.9 like that so you have to see your own setting that on which setting the boiler is cutting cutoff set so what we have learned till now if I summarize it so basically what is happening after lining up the DO inactive pump and the DO supply pump we have checked that the feed system lineup is proper or not after that the pilot burner will first fire and then the main burner will fire pilot burner will go off and the main burner will self sustaining flame it will pressurize the boiler after the boiler reaches the certain pressure it will go off and it will cut in cut off depending upon the setting so you will see the pilot burner is firing after some time the main burner will fire which will be assisted by the pilot burner when the burner flame is self sustainable it will be pilot burner will go off 
and after some time what will happen the boiler pressure will increase and boiler will curtain cut off on a set pressure as per the setting in the control panel so friend if you learn something from this video then please do like share and don't forget to subscribe